Welcome back, my Les Littles. I'm so glad you were able to join me this evening. Today, guys, I got Little G here, AKA Little Gabe. Hi, I'm super happy to be here. Yes, and guess what, guys? We have something super spectacular this evening. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, you guys, we got Dreamy Creamy Three Cheese Baked Chicken Alfredo. Can I get a yes, please? Yes, please. All right, guys. So today, we're not going to waste any time. You know, we're just going to get right into this. And because we're starving, we've been waiting to eat for a long, long time. And as the Italians say, mangiamo. Let's eat. Yes. So, Gabe, we're going to do a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. And um, this is going to be a bite thumbnail. So we're going to get our first bite. And we're going to do like a pause, like like the perfect bite. And oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> this, ha I did sprinkle some hot Cheeto dust on mine, just half of it, because I wanted to give it a little kick. So we're going to do a bite. We're going to do a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. You got to get a bigger bite than that, dude. You got to get in there. Yes, and then we're going to go. All right. All right, game. Are you ready? The moment of truth. Mm -hmm. You guys, this is Dreamy Creamy Three Cheese Baked Chicken Alfredo. Oh. This is so good. I haven't had this in such a long time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting that third. Oh, I wish you guys could taste this. We also did go a little further with the cheese. We got some cheesy garlic bread. Mm. Mm, so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not bad with the hot Cheetos at all. Yeah, I did one side with the hot Cheetos and one without. Mm -hmm. They're both pretty good. Wow. Wow. That is so creamy. Oh, the cheese on top. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Garlicky. I went ahead and made a little salad too to cut through some of that cheese, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't move my cup. Thank you. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this closer. This is so good. Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. So I decided um, that I was going to start something. And what I wanted to start was doing like a fun or interesting fact to introduce into each of my videos. And 
I decided to choose something pertaining to what we're eating. Actually, it's how Alfredo originated. And it's quite interesting to me because I really didn't know the story. So I'm gonna keep it short and simple because I know we gotta eat this Alfredo. So, interestingly enough, it comes from a man, his first name is Alfredo. I can't pronounce his last name. And of course, he's from Italy. So he had a restaurant, was married, and then um, his second, his wife's second pregnancy, she suffered from nausea and vomiting um, a lot. So he discovered kind of like when we eat, when we're feeling ill in our stomach and not feeling well, we eat like crackers or something, you know, to, to soothe our stomach. Well, he came up with the idea to make pasta with butter and Parmesan cheese, and that helped settle his stomach. So, he, his wife, it helped her so much that he decided to put it on his menu at his restaurant. So, um, Cheesy garlic bread, so good. So, he had it on his menu, and then I believe it, what I read, and this is from the Huff Post online that I, I got this information from, that some Amer two Americans had come, they used to do silent films, this is like, I think around the early 1900s, they go in, and they see this on the menu, and then it was whatever pasta they had available that day. They would make it with the butter and the Parmesan cheese. Well, they had it and they loved it. So to make a long story short, they came back to America. And um, ironically, we are the ones as Americans that created the cream and the pot, like the cheese and all of that to make it so like, you know, I don't know, hearty, which I found quite interesting. In fact, I read further that if you were to go back to that restaurant in Italy, they, at that restaurant, it's still there. They still do not serve this type of Alfredo. It's just the pasta, the cheese, and the butter. And that's really what Alfredo originally was. So I found that pretty interesting. It's my fun fact. Maybe some more of this bread. Please. Mm -hmm. Do you have any fun facts? Um, yeah. I actually did I actually didn't know this first one up. Um I did not know that kangaroos cannot walk backwards. I didn't know that. Do they walk or do they hop? Hop. Wow, oh, interesting. <laughs> you guys don't mind my jar. There's another one I did not know about is that a shrimp's heart is in its head. Um. <laughs> And when I was reading it, I didn't believe it at first. I really didn't. But. It's really weird. I never knew that. Wow. 
That's interesting. I'm sorry, I'm just like astonished by this operator right now, for real. Yeah. That is pretty interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't never have guessed. Yeah. And something else I forgot to mention. Oh. Um, I did not know that crocodiles do not stick out their tongue. Um, cause like I didn't really. This was confusing to me because like it's so easy to stick your tongue out, like. I honestly, like I don't think I've ever seen a crocodile's tongue because usually when they eat something, it's just like. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Good bite, I don't know. Anything else? Any other interesting facts? I have one more. Ooh, one more. But I feel like some people already know about this one. Um it's actually goats have rectangular pupils and I didn't know but um, I searched up a couple pictures and they actually do have rectangular pupils but not really because at the ends they're round mm. but it's still a rectangular shape mm. Interesting. never noticed although I wasn't really paying close attention to something like that once again. <laughs> this is so good. Out of this world. Seriously, out of this world. I'm gonna bring it 